Peace be with you. Welcome back to my channel for a, another video, another intuitive spiritual download. 4.33 on the clock. If this is your first time, welcome. You're right on time. Nine times out of 10, this is where you're supposed to be. It's not a coincidence. I don't believe in coincidences. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. We all have free will, but I feel like you're exactly where you're supposed to be when you're supposed to be here. And so am I. Look at us meeting one another virtually online at least and at best we are in spiritual courts what does that mean we're about to find out something that we need to know the downloads have been downloading the uh, uploads have been uploading and somehow in the middle we are meeting in between the ethers by way of the 5d and above and the 3d need less to say somebody's trying to get rid of some type of information Okay, some type of crime. This has been coming out a lot lately. I don't know what's going on, but it seems like somebody is uh, not being able to, or not being able to. Maybe something's not allowing them to be able to do something. <laughs> okay, control themselves at least, or so it feels. If you're returning back to the channel, you already know what it is. I love you so much. The downloads are getting quite interesting. Um, the download that I got earlier was that somebody did sex magic and now they can't have sex. <laughs> I'm sitting there getting the download like, what? You know what I mean? Like, I'm really like, what am I tapping into? So somebody abused sexual energy, right? Is what I heard. Okay, well, we're, we're going to get into it. Maybe arson has something to do with that. Maybe somebody's trying to get rid of some type of uh, evidence because I feel like your, your ancestors are on their ass. Okay, so somebody could have tried to bind you sexually. They could be trying to get rid of something. They could be frustrated with this arson card coming out. It's like, uh, this could be literal or figurative. Somebody could be burning a bridge. Somebody could be burning up. Somebody could have high blood pressure. Whatever the circumstance, somebody's ass is pissed off to the highest point of festivity and they're getting rid of something that would incriminate them, be that, you know, something they did in the 3D or something that they did by way of sex magic because the download that I got was somebody abused sex magic. Child, just heard sexual deviant. Okay, well. Soul Tribe, I love you so much. Newcomers, hey, how you doing? Come in, like, share, double tap, you know, share the video. It helps it go viral so that it gets out to the people that need it. Listen, let me tell you something. Or you can keep this video for yourself. It's totally up to you. <laughs> Whatever you decide to do, I support you in the energy. So yeah, my beautiful Soul Tribe. Newcomers, I was going to say we have a song and it's called the Soul Tribe Song. And it's a way that, you know, we all kind of tap in, you know, when I sing this song, I sing it from my soul, my heart, uh, the most beautiful parts of myself. I want to put that into the ethers with the hopes and the knowing and the believing that everybody that's a part of my true divine soul tribe will feel that love and light and then they'll send out light and then whoever they're sending light to, they'll send out light. And so it becomes a beautiful, contagious, big ball of bright shining love, affection, genuine intentions, you know, just light. Everything that light encompasses spiritually, you know, or light, light. Somebody might need to turn on the lights, <laughs> literally. Turn off the lights, listen, and light a candle. <laughs> That's what somebody did, I'm telling you, somebody abused sex magic, nevertheless. The song goes a little something like this. So tribe. So tribe. So
freaking love you, Soul Tribe. I do. Newcomers, like, share, and subscribe. Be kind. Rewind if you need to. Whatever energy you decide to come in with, I hope that you come in with discernment and intuition, taking what resonates and leaving the rest. Shout out to the people that just come. You know, there's different groups of people that come to see this reading and come to this platform. You got the group of people that just come for the intro. They're good. They're in and they're out, right? They get the Soul Tribe song and they're out. Maybe they're in the shower singing the Soul Tribe song, ascending to their highest good. Listen. So shout out to you, okay? Because you already know that you know, you know, you know what's going to come out by way of the reading because you're getting the same downloads. I love that. And shout out to the people that read the cards backwards. I'd like to thank you in advance, child, because you are very special people. The people that survived the long intros, that's a whole other group. They're just wanting to get to the reading. Patience is a virtue, you know? I'm, I'm glad that you're still here. That means that you're learning patience before we get to the meat and the potatoes of the reading, so to speak. Nevertheless, here we go. So arson, okay? How does this connect with somebody doing sex magic so much and now they're unable to have sex? Somebody's sexually frustrated. Here's what they won't tell the doctors by way of Western medicine. Could be a Capricorn. The signs have been coming out lately. I'm not doing specific zodiac signs, but if it comes out and it's a collective reading, then so shall it be. The Capricorn, what is the Capricorn? Capricorn represents, you know, uh, by way of human beings, you know, they are workers, they are grounded, they are earth, they are the queen of pentacles, king of pentacles energy, and they're stable and they're grounded. On a spiritual level, they are known as El Diablo, Hashatan. <laughs> you know, the mean guy over there. I love Capricorns, though. Arts and Capricorn, clarify the sex magic. This person could be sexually frustrated, doing something reckless out of anger. I don't know. Go to the gym, maybe? Yeah, look. Surrounded by all evil. I cannot make this up. What kind of sex magic is this? So this could have been sex magic and death magic. I don't know. Love me or die type of an energy? I don't know. Somebody's intense, so... I just heard, no weapons formed against me shall prosper. Okay, well, some of you could have prayed that prayer. And maybe that's the reason this shit backfired. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody's ass is under judgment. What are they getting rid of? What are they getting rid of when it comes to sex magic? Okay, surrounded by all evils, a Capricorn. Does Capricorn just, maybe Capricorn represents El Diablo. I don't know, y'all. I'm having a real long commercial break here. Holy Spirit, beautiful angels, please continue to put a shield of protection around me as I channel this energy. Please allow me to see what I need to see when I need to see it divinely and hear properly, pro probably, probably, properly, I meant to say, Mercury retrograde got jokes. Properly, clearly, what I need to hear when I need to hear it by way of my clear audience so that I might speak the truth. Please clear my heart and my throat and my spirit and my, my whole personal being so that I don't influence this reading in a way, right? That satisfies my own insatiable desires, whatever those are. However, I do have commercial breaks where I put in my two cents, especially when I feel like somebody's coming for somebody in my soul tribe. So let's just see, this could resonate. Maybe it don't, maybe it's another video that you need to get to. I support you in the energy. Arson, Capricorn, so shall it be surrounded by all evil. Clarify this, Holy Spirit. Oh, you know what? I'm being guided to use some other cards. Okay. All right. So there could be like some type of delays because I don't know if I've ever taken this long to start a reading. <laughs> I just feel like, okay, what's going on? Okay, here we go. Arson, sex magic. Oh, child. This energy is coming out quite clearly. Did we not say Capricorn LD? Mother freaking Oplo. Mm. It's giving sex addiction. It's giving addictive personality. Love spells. Yeah, this person is just addicted to control, power, sex, death. You know, when somebody says, I love you forever, ever, they mean it. Like, where the hell you think you're going? Type of an energy. Yeah, somebody has big insecurities, comes off very, very confident could be very well versed in the bedroom by way of extracurricular activities is what i just heard but this person has a dark side that i don't know everybody 
knows about could, could be talking about a Capricorn or maybe they're just coming out in this energy yeah they come off real nice I cannot make this up King of Cups energy somebody's got two sides Dr. Jekyll Mr. Hyde well don't we all but you know the shadow is something that at some point you have to do something with that somebody somebody is comfortably stepping into their shadow okay adhering to their very very low vibrations you know things that satisfy their physical body overindulging this is the kind of person if they have sex they have a lot of sex if they have something to eat they have a lot to eat if they have something to drink like everything's in excess by way of obsessively doing it yeah justice okay so somebody feels like karma's at play here justice is at play but arson okay this could be a real legal matter six of cups yeah something they did in the past three of wands uh something that's to come something that's going to happen Spirit says this could be happening in a short amount of time, but what did they damage? I feel like somebody's sexually frustrated, okay? Whoever this person is, they work with low-level entities, succubus, uh, incubus energy, okay, by way of sex. And the fact that they cannot, oh, spirit is real deep, 444 four, four on the clock, okay. I had to hear what I was trying to hear. So listen, Spirit says this person is, uh, you know, the way they get their energy, their power is by sex. So now that they've done too much sex magic, they can't feed like a vampire. I can't make it up. The moon. This person could possibly like to have sex near the new moon. And, you know, they understand the moon cycles to just make that sexual energy more uh, potent, I just heard. But somebody needs power. That's how they feed. Okay. Damn, this person's connected to something dark, though. That's how this person feeds. And now that they're not able to do this, uh, they're going batshit crazy. Arson, they could have tried to take somebody out. <laughs> Clarify crime cover-up, retaliation, damage. Somebody's in heavy regret with something that they did. Yes, yeah, some magic. I cannot make this up. The devil, the devil is there to collect from this person. Whoever this person is, okay, take it as it resonates. The magician, they need energy, they need power, they need, you know, it's giving, I come to suck your blood type of an energy. Y'all, do y'all remember the old movies, the vampire heuristic movies, where the guy was so dapper, he was so, you know, the devil came pretty, you know what I mean? Type of an energy, giving Billy D. Williams type of an energy, right? But he needed, he needed his victims to be in a trance first, right? This person is big into magic, big magician energy, okay? Um, and now that he's not able to do the sex magic, he can't get people under his spell. So this masculine, I'm getting masculine. This could be a feminine too, y'all, I'm gonna be honest. This could absolutely be a feminine. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-mm, mm-mm, listen. Whatever this is, their spells are wearing off. Their beauty spells, their unhandsome spells, whatever that is, it's wearing off and they can't get an arousal. So somebody's frustrated, but somebody's got a whole something dedicated to something demonic and they're getting rid of it. Somebody could be using fire. Somebody could be a fire sign. This could be a Capricorn that's in December. Take it as it resonates. Don't necessarily we have to be, listen, this person is weighed down. These are contracts on this person's back. Spiritual contracts, people that they took out, sex magic, uh, this person, this person's dark. Oof, I don't even want to say everything I see. Mm, mm, mm. My nose is itching. Something to the itching. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, okay. Four cups. This person uses sexual energy to manifest money, to manifest a better life to manifest more people, uh, to get more people to have sex with them. Sex is what this person does. This person comes to literally with the intention and saying, you have to give me everything. When you lay down with this person, this person's mindset is that you're giving me everything. Damn, don't sleep with this guy. That you're giving me everything. And everything means everything forever, ever. This person wants your soul so to speak, and everybody else's. So now, this frustration with the sex, clarify the sex. Yeah, this person don't know what to do. 
He's not able to play these mind games, okay? King of Swords in the reverse is somebody who maliciously is just a narcissist. Uh, he could use deities and spirits to confuse people, put them in a trance, but he needs power. He has to always charge up. That's this guy. He's a nitpicker. He's methodical. He's patient. He takes a little bit at a time, not too much, uh, but a little bit from everybody. King of Swords in the reverse is reckless. Reckless in every aspect of the word with the devil and the king of swords in the reverse, you know, clarifying with the ten of wands. Somebody's ass is way down about something that they don't want nobody to know about. This is how this person comes up. It's somebody who's a leader, the emperor. Very handsome, very good looking, smells good, looks good. He's come to take you out. That's his only intention. He don't catch feelings. What he does is he, he catches flights on to the next. Ten of swords, honey. The world catching flights to and fro, okay? A spiritual gigolo. When a spell wears off on this man, you might look at this person and be like, oh my God, because he doesn't have any energy. Remember, clarify. Yeah, I can't make this up. Once you start to stand in your power, okay? Because remember, this magic works on people who don't really know who they are. Once you ascend seven of wands and there's divine intervention and you start to love on yourself, it's easy to get rid of this devil. This is why this person needs so much from so many people all the time. Clarify what's going on, Holy Spirit. Yeah, listen. Could have mother issues. Queen of Cups in the reverse. Maybe their mother was very dominating. Okay, that's what I just heard. Damn, so they have this thing out for women, but they're sexually frustrated person hides the fact that they enjoy being dark like this. Damn. They're probably surrounded by all evil. Yeah, I can't make it up. Something about their mother. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Big Capricorn uh, water sign energy. Queen of Cups in the reverse. Something about not giving and taking. Okay, so this person could have felt neglected by their mother as a child. Um, somehow they met the devil, made a deal with the devil. Somebody wanted to win. I just want to be handsome. I just want women to want me, blah, blah, blah. Whatever this person's intentions were, they were absolutely talking, talking to something, excuse me, something that was very, very dark, was surrounded by all evil. The hangman, okay? They're getting rid of something. What's the arson? Not a swords. They're getting rid of something. They're doing it fast. Not a swords is a swift action. Whatever they're getting rid of, they're trying. They're doing it in a haste. They're doing it in frustration, anger, sexually frustrated, uh, magically frustrated. Their magic is not working. With the four of cups and the page of pentacles, this person needs to manifest money. This is what they've been able to do with the powers that they've been given, according to them. But they need to feed. And if that thing ain't thinking and ain't working, somebody's still trying to use their manipulation with the king of swords. It's like checking your traps, you know, going back to people that you think are easy to control just to see if you can still do it because they need their magic to be validated. And the fact that they can't have sex if they wanted to really is frustrating. This is this is divine intervention. This is judgment. Ace of Cups, I can't make it up. This is the divine. This is this is like coming from the higher realms. High, 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 child. Ooh wee this is judgment, spiritual judgment. You cannot break the spiritual laws like that. There's no way. You're forcing people's will. You're stopping their, their, um, their beginnings. And this person could have specifically looked for chosen ones that were on their journey. Ace of Pentacles. Ace energy. Divine energy, okay? So specifically, yeah, this person wants good supply. Good high vibrations. Who doesn't, okay? But somebody was uh, very dark. What are they getting rid of? Somebody's trying to get rid of something and, and start a new beginning. Information. Page of Wands. Something that would incriminate them into something very, very dark. Damn. And or expose them, I just heard. Holy Spirit, please continue to put a, a shield of protection around me. Close any doors that do not need to be open, please. And thank you. Thank you. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, I call judgment down on the circumstance and the situation for the universe to handle this as we surrender this reading to that which is just and right. Four of swords, yeah, this person is, is tired. Weak, okay? Yeah, hmm, interesting. They're weak, honey, they're holding on, they're holding on to whatever little bit of energy they've harvested. Four of pentacles, okay? So you know if this is happening in the spirit realm, it's also happening in <laughs> the 3D as well. Because why, it happens in the spirit first, so somebody's getting their karma. 
Seven of Wands. There, somebody's ancestors stepped up. Divine ancestors. Five of Swords, whooping the shit out of this person, beating this devil down to the ground, honey. They're holding on to whatever little bit of energy they were able to harvest, uh, you know, and just keep it. They're just trying to hold it with the Four of Pentacles. Trying to stay grounded. Five of Swords, your ancestors are whooping ass. The Five of Swords clarifying the Seven of Wands. This devil's getting their ass beat. Clarify what's going on. Star energy. Hmm. Aquarius energy. Somebody's birthday could be in January. 24th? 23rd? 22nd? Something like that. 22nd. Something could be significant about 2, 3, 4, 22, 23, 24. I don't know why in that order. For January, okay? Yeah, the moon. Somebody is a uh, somebody's wealthy, or they were. They got a lot of fame. Clarify. They're trying to get rid of something, though. They're trying to get rid of something. A lot of Capricorn energy here. Three of Pentacles. Damn. Somebody's clarifying. This is what this person is saying by way of their energy. Yes, I'm a January Capricorn or a January Aquarius or Aquarius with a whole bunch of Capricorn in them. Okay? There also could be a December Capricorn, I just heard, because there's a lot of fire. Somebody works in fire with the arson energy, but they're trying to get rid of something that's going to incriminate them. Hmm, interesting. What am I hearing? Can we have a commercial break? Child, this is crazy. I'm just saying, if, okay, if I was a spectator in spiritual court, of which I am, this is crazy. Who is this? In real life? No, yeah, it's a no. This somebody, somebody is off their rocker. Okay, back to spiritual court. I'm just saying, like, that's crazy. What am I hearing, spirit? Okay, this person could put like, I just heard pills and potions, 4.55 on the clock. This person could put stuff in people's food. Yeah, he wants that, he wants that destiny. He wants your soul, he wants your destiny. Looks for high vibrational people, people that are, are new to their spirituality, maybe don't know. This could be a past story for somebody. By way of retrograde, you could be going through your feelings about this story, whoever this is. If you're the Capricorn, he's a Capricorn. Somebody's a Taurus and somebody's a Virgo, I just heard. Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, big Capricorn by way of January and December. The Eight of Wands, December. Sagittarius. This person astral projects a lot. But with the Four of Wands, I feel like they're too tired. Yeah, they can't, they can't move on. I mean, I said Four of Wands. I meant to say Four of Swords. Four of Swords is tired, laid out, laid down. I can't make it up. Look, the chariot came up like this. Somebody's hanging on to the last little bit of energy that they have. They done made deals with the devil, okay? Sex magic has worn off. The beauty spells have worn off. The love spells have backfired because remember, they need energy to keep that going and somebody's just not able to manifest, okay? They need money. They need whatever they manifested, okay? The star and the will of fortune, somebody made a lot of money. Now they're at the bottom, okay? Still trying to see if something's going to work with the King of Swords in the reverse. Manipulative, you know, trying to figure out a way around uh, getting this shit to work. Child, listen, the chariot in the, in the reverse. Somebody don't got energy to astral project, move forward, nothing. They're just holding on by a thread, literally. Four Swords is like down and out. Meditation. But I don't feel like this person is laying down because they want to. They're exhausted. Three of Swords. Getting to the heart of the matter, facing their own demons, okay? I really would love to know what it is that they're getting rid of. Whatever they're getting rid of, they just want to move forward. They want to act like, I don't know, maybe they're coming into the light. Nine of Wands, they're way down, though. They got to pay back some karma, though. Mm, 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 mm. Four of Wands in the tower. This person, this person had a lot of relationships. The Four of Wands to the tower in the middle of the day? Yeah, this person, this person... Oh my God, clarify, what is going on? Mm -mm -mm. There's fighting, there's competition. I told you, everybody's his soulmate. <laughs> He's like, what the hell is going on? Look, the tower, five of cups, okay? The tower, the five of cups, and the five of wands, a lot of silent competition. 
Okay? Yeah, a lot going on in all his relationships. He had magic on all of them, and everybody thought they were the one. Five of Cups in the Tower. Child, the beauty spells have worn off. The sex spells have worn off, so these people don't want to sleep with him. But because it's backfired, he could be feeling very, very sexual, but not able to perform because he's abused his energy sexually. Okay? This kind of person, yeah, watch this guy. Ooh, I hope don't nobody do it. Let him heal first, if he ever should so happen to plan to do that, okay? <laughs> but, um, yeah, no. This person could, uh, this person says incantations while having sex, unbeknownst to his partner. <laughs> it's a spellcaster. A sex, a sex guy, yeah, look. Speaking to them, I am your soulmate type of an energy. Four of wands in the reverse, child, no, he is the devil. And he's come to take your soul and take your blood and everything you got. He want all of you. Okay, four of wands in the reverse. Yeah, this person causes a lot of confusion in his relationships. Nine of wands is darkness, keeping a veil over people's eyes, having them believe that you are who you are. But now they can see, they could be looking at this person like, what was I thinking? The spell has worn off. And now that they're not having sex with this person, He's not able to reinstate that sex magic and that shit is wearing off. Look, four of swords and the three of swords. I can't make it up. The fool in the reverse. Where are you going? Nowhere. To sit back down and get back in that four of swords and lay your punk ass down and get this spiritual karma. Okay. I'm just saying. Uh, the fool in the reverse. I can't make it up. It fell right on top of the chariot. Chariot is always forward movement when the card is in the upright. Right or wrong. Okay. But now that the card is in the reverse, this man can't move on towards a fake relationship, a real one, or nothing. He's got too much karmic debt. His magic don't work. People could, you know, he's losing power. He could be looking old. Remember, he's losing energy. He's losing good light energy, vitality. But when these people who are on their journey awaken, it's a tower, period. Period. I don't know what else to say. Yeah, he be working they ass. Look, Tempers was right here. Earth Angels, Nine of Cups, wishes being f fulfilled. Ace of Wands, Divine Intervention, Nine of Pentacles. He always likes to catch people right at that Nine of Pentacles. What is the next pentacle? The next pentacle is you being the Ascended Master that you're supposed to be. This is the kind of devil that comes in right when the awakening is about to be big. Like he's the final test. Eight of Pentacles, child, working these people for years like a part-time job child is giving you know well i'm open from eight to five you know i'll be working at ass you know type of an energy but not in the way that you think like somebody's really channeling some dark ass entities okay now they're just trying to get rid of it all and move forward nevertheless i don't know if they feel like maybe the karma is not going to come back or uh, they could be getting rid of something hoping that they don't get such bad karma for what they did to people you know, maybe they feel like they get rid of your underwear that they were doing stuff with and the condoms they were doing stuff with. Oh, yeah. After sex. Child, these people's wicked. Don't you put up past these people. Listen, nine of cups. Yeah. But once that divine person goes on awakening and awakening, they wake up like, what, what is this? Yeah. Then you realize all this time you're an earth angel. Had God told you before now, you would have never. But this was a good lesson. Why? Because divine intervention is at play. Once you sit in the room with the devil and you talk to the devil, you're like, okay, nine of pentacles, this is a narrow path. I got to walk the source and move forward in a way that I got to leave all this behind. After a circumstance like this, you absolutely do go into the nine of pentacles energy. Solo, bolo, you and source, you and spirit, and your angels. Temperance is here. Ace of wands, divine intervention. This is somebody who came with some magic child. What are they burning up? What are they getting rid of? Just stuff that they were using, I think, energetically in their magic. Yeah, three of cups, child. Sexual shit. Three of cups. Mr. Party Hardy, Mr. Life of the Party, honey, or Mrs. Life of the Party. Yeah. He's leaving it out in the cold. He's letting it go because the karma is too bad. This person's surrounded by all evil. Remember, he's conjuring up very vicious spirits to control people sexually 
mentally so that he can manifest off of their energy and go get money or maybe do more have more energy to do sex magic or even have energy to have sex clearly this person is impotent and frustrated but this person is leaving it all behind with the five of pentacles or this represents they left his ass out in the cold i feel like this is him abandoned spiritual jail spiritual hell yeah it is he's got to do some inner healing it's gonna be hard though it's gonna be hard. Clarify. Show me this person. Current energy. Yeah, it's gonna be hard. Ooh, be strong. Strength. <laughs> the Lion of Judah. You know? And the Wizard of Oz is on down the road. Follow the yellow brick road. What was the Lion of Judah? Lion's Gate. What was his strength about? Courage. This person has got to eat every single thing that they've done to somebody sexually, mentally, and guess what? They don't have no protection and Source could very well be attacking their entire life to get their attention. Like stripping them of everything. Why? Because they're starting to feel remorse now. Because now they're feeling the effects of what they sent out and now they can really see who they are. Somebody's like, no, nope, I'm letting it all go. Let's see, is this person letting the devil go? Or are they getting rid of their toxic ways? No, they are not. <sighs> they're still trying, but they can't have sex and their magic is not working. They need energy. Okay, this person could be in isolation. Maybe people don't want to be around this person. They just feel like something's weird about this person. But they're on the hunt, honey. Knight of Wands. Going to and fro, looking for whom they can sexually devour. Hmm. High Priestess in the reverse, this person's still not listening to their intuition. This person's, this person's like a devil for life. Who knows? You know, I always like to have hope for people that still have a chance, but I feel like the Five of Pentacles is not this person leaving it behind. I do feel like they're getting rid of something, though, that could incriminate them on a spiritual level. Maybe they clarify the High Priestess in the reverse for this person. Yeah, yeah, no. It's the King of Pentacles and the Lovers in the Reverse. Let's start there. Reverse, okay? High Priestess in the Reverse, Lovers in the Reverse, King of Pentacles in the Reverse. Child, this person needs help. Page of Cups energy. Well, one, their intuition is blocked. So they're not feeling all the people that were caught in their web and all this sex magic they did. They used to be able to feel their energy. They were able to feed off of all of them, somehow keeping them all together. Lovers in the reverse, they can't get no love. Did I not just say this person was impotent? Lovers in the reverse. The sex magic ain't working, so they can't have sex no more. King of Pentacles in the reverse, they don't have, even have any money to fake it to make it. You know, dress it up, make it all look good. You know, the vampire that's come to suck your blood. Smells good, talks good. Something about this person puts you in a trance. King of Pentacles in the reverse. Now they don't have... The money, okay, they could be losing the five of pentacles. They're in poverty. You know, remember, first you get the money, then you get the hoes, then you get the bitches or whatever you call these people that you were in the bed with. Women, men, children, unfortunately children. Because I feel like something happened to this person in adolescence by way of them uh, being uh, abused. I just heard children. Huh person thinks like a child is what I just heard. I don't feel like this person does anything with children, but I do think that something happened to this person when they were a child. Page of Cups. So they're still acting out of some type of adolescent trauma. You know, maybe this person's like 44 years old, but they still act like they're 15. That type of an energy. Not really taking the full, you know, uh, taking a full scope of at what it is that they're doing. Right? Clarify the arson, the king of pentacles, and yeah, something that they did in the past over and over and over and over. This person is getting rid of, rid of, excuse me, getting rid of some type of witchcraft. Six of cups, but they're still in this abusive nature. King of pentacles in the reverse is still controlling, they lack self control. Okay, whatever this arson is, they're doing it in the haze. King of Pentacles in the reverse, they could have done something to affect their house. Maybe they burned down their house. 
I don't know. Maybe somebody needs money. They're trying to figure out a way. Yeah, maybe insurance money. Who knows? Whatever it is. King of Pentacles in every aspect is somebody that's still trying. Uh, if I have the money now, this person feels, now that they can't have sex, uh, then that's going to help me get the love. Because the lovers is in the reverse. Everybody's walked away from this person. But the Six of Cups, their past is here to haunt them. Six of Cups is nostalgia. Very nostalgic energy. Flashing back, thinking, woulda, coulda, shoulda. But really, in this person's eyes, they're not regretful. This person's a devil. They'll always be like flighty, knight of cups. This person's stuck in some type of adolescent trauma. So in their mind, they're still like, you know, playing around with people in a very immature state. But time has gone by. Damn. This is not a game. Yeah, look. But they're like this. Nine of swords. Child. Yeah, nine of swords and a nine of wands. This person's very paranoid that maybe something won't work, but they're still trying. Damn, what's the outcome here, Spirit? What's the outcome? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, this person is trying to act like they're holier than thou, basically. They're going to come back in to try to do something. They're trying to make a decision about how to get more partnerships. Because again, this is a full-blown vampire. This person is done. Seriously, they have to keep doing this. They could just be wanting to start off with a new cast of characters. Maybe they're gonna rewrite the script and do something different. Whatever this is, they need to partner up, two of cups. Two of wands and the two of cups. They could be uh, thinking about relocating, maybe where people don't know them, right? The Hierophant coming off as a spiritualist now, okay. And the hangman, they're seeing something differently so that they can continue doing whatever this is that they're doing. Shoo, clarify this situation, Spirit. Yeah, it's a worker. They're weighed down. Look, this is what they want. They'll do anything to get it. Eight of Pentacles to the Ace of Pentacles. Even if they have to mimic light, so somebody's going in as a hierophant. Oh, I went through a spiritual awakening. Yeah, this person is the devil. And they always will be. Mm -hmm. This is why they're like this. Because they don't know if it's going to work. They need energy to carry out this plan. <laughs> so now they're going to look for new energy. Child, clarify what's going on. Holy Spirit. Anything else? Queen of Wands energy. Ooh, that took me for a, a loop. Yeah. Queen of Wands energy. They're looking for new people. Clarify the Queen of Wands. Looking for new people. New supply. Ooh, no, that's too many cards. I don't feel like this is going to work, though. I feel like this person's time is up. Just on the karmic level, like, they're being blocked by the universe. No matter where they go, they can't hurt anybody else. They've been exposed too much on the energetic level. That they can't... Yeah, it's over. They're paranoid that this is not going to work. Right now, what they're trying to do, again, they need energy. Remember? Energy. Queen of Wands energy... You know, Queen of Wands is confident, you know, very sophisticated, very sensual, very fiery, uh, dominant when they need to be. They got good balance. Queen of Wands in the upright is, uh, you know, the type of energy this person wants. The confident women, you know, this is this guy or confident men, you know, flip and flop that. But the Eight of Wands is somebody needing energy to astral project. Nine of Wands, but now he's got people that are protecting themselves from him. So he doesn't have access to their energy. Cool, child. All these lovers walked away. Yeah, look, I can't make it up. Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. It's breakup. All, all of the lo lovers walked away. There's no supply. Okay? Anything else we need to see? They all walked away. There's no supply, so now he needs new supply, honey. I cannot make it up. Did I not just say they all walked away? They all woke up from some type of spell? Look, Ten of Wands to the Two of Cups. In order for him to move forward, move away, and go get new people that, you know, that don't know his name and don't know his history or just new victims, he has to show up like a hierophant. It's the kind of guy that's going to say, I want to get married. Of course, he want to bind somebody to him. <laughs> but he's a high priestess in the reverse. Or she. I keep saying he. Maybe it's a she. It could be shape-shifting. King of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody's dominating, controlling. It's 
Somebody's bound to something real dark that if they get out of this child, it's got to be a miracle. Somebody's got so much karma racked up and they know it. They're just, they're just trying to stay alive, honey. Stand alive, stand alive. Ah, 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 ah. Stand alive. Ah, ah, ah. Listen, father comes in the tower. Okay, it's over. I don't know. <laughs> This guy's just trying to stay alive, man. Or this girl or lady or man or cat or dog or it. Whatever. The devil, though. This person's the devil. El Diablo, Hashatan, El Waswas. This person is like just hanging on by a thread. It's like they can't, they can't get a partner. Damn. It's crazy. Which means time's up. The devil's coming to collect. Mm, well, I got time today, so I'm going to check something else here before we close out this session. 4044 in spiritual courts. I'm very, very curious to know what this is. Because whatever this arson is, this could be out of anger, frustration, wanting to destroy something, feeling destroyed, and wanting to destroy. I just heard. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't think this person's gonna get far. They're being blocked by the universe, okay? But I'm really, really curious. Let me just check my makeshift homemade cards and see what the universe has to say about the situation. Universe, hi universe. Thank you for coming in to Spiritual Court. Shout out to all the beautiful supernatural, high vibrational spirit beings that guide us daily. All of the ascended masters that intercede on our behalf and keep us protected. We ask that you come on in to spirit before. Thank you for the angels being here. What's going on with this person? With the arson, Capricorn energy surrounded by evil. What's going on? True soulmates coming in. So a lot of these people that this person had bound, they're going through spiritual awakenings. Now that they broke free from whatever this curse was or binding or whatever it was, they can see a little bit more clear and this person is not what they want. <laughs> Whoever that is. True soulmates are bringing things into universal balance. The more you tap into your soul, you absolutely do draw in a beautiful soulmate. And so this is really what's breaking up a lot of this, you know, magical monotony, right? Or being at a stalemate is the fact that these people now are awakening possibly to what this person was doing to them. So this person's getting rid of something. Okay, we got the Orisha. Ifa, Santaria, somebody could have been doing a little something extra. Well, we already knew that, did we not? Okay. Clarify whatever's going on. Celebrity status. I felt like this person had got some type of fame. With the Wheel of Fortune, the star, yeah. And now whatever deal they had made with the devil, they weren't able to, because uh, the devil was funny. They weren't able to fulfill that, that deal. Or reinstated. Yes, yeah, confirmation. Do, 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 do. Celebrity status. Somebody could be known. Somebody's gained a lot of status, child, by working with the devil. Full moon rituals, child. They don't miss not a one. They're at they're at every full moon ritual. Whatever's going on, whoever this person is. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Aquarius. They know that you know that you know. Okay, so Aquarius, you could have been involved, or this could be the January Aquarius. So somebody's birthday is in January for sure. Maybe the other signs that other Capricorn was somebody that they were dealing with. Ooh, I hear sirens. I don't know if y'all hear the sirens. Yeah, sirens outside. Somebody's obsessed. So a lot of this love magic and all this stuff backfired. All these people that this person was with know that what they were doing. So this is why they're trying to get rid of stuff. This person was in deep committed relationships with a lot of people, like deeply. Like these people had no reason to think that this person was with anybody else. But it says they know that you know. So everybody that this person was involved with, this person had a lot of partners all at once. I don't know how. 
That's like a full-time job. I feel like this person is finding out that he needed them or she needed them more than they needed her. That the magic, without the magic, they're nothing. They're having to face themselves, basically. Yeah, the universe is not allowing this person to uh, access anything by way of the spirit realm. Talk around town is that you win, okay, whoever you are. Maybe this person is, uh, yeah, but the worst thing you can do with a narcissist is go somewhere and win. Child, they can never get over it. A Scorpio might be significant. Aquarius and a Scorpio, okay? You could be a Scorpio. They could be a Scorpio. Access is denied. Somebody's blocked from somebody's energy. So they could still be making offerings. Ooh, but yeah, that's the truth. My nose is itching. Somebody could still be making offerings to ooh, the Orisha, okay? Or something to gain power, but like using it in a bad way, you know, by sex, by way of having sex. But the fact that you win is what's frustrating this person. Arson. Yeah, fake love, secret hater. This person had don't love nobody, child, and had deep relationships. According to other people, these were deep and meaningful relationships, right? Cancer. A cancer could be significant. Damn. Capricorn, Cancer, Aquarius, Scorpio. Jesus. Fake friends. Place fake. Yeah, fake friend. This person could have been doing magic over people that they were close to. Just all kinds of stuff. Jesus. But sex is how they do it. Sex, sex, sex. Somebody does something with sex. Confusion spells don't work. A dark high priestess. This person is still doing something. Gemini energy. Okay, so Gemini is significant. Yeah, this person... This person's got a lot of addictions. It says drug addiction and sex addiction. Mm, mm, mm. Confusion spells don't work on you. So this person's checking their traps. Obsessively watching you online, getting readings and or divination. So the biggest part for this person, it just says at the bottom that hate is eating, that, that hate is eating them up. Okay. But the biggest part for this person is losing. And they can't have sex. So they're thinking about all the people that they were with, that they put these spells on, this shit then wore off. A Gemini might be significant, a Cancer, a Scorpio. This person had a whole bunch of those. So they had all the signs, okay? Period. And I promise you that, okay? Somebody always had a place to put their head. Whatever the case, the biggest thing that's eating them up is that you got away and that you survived. But this person is absolutely committed to something dark, very, very dark, and they're done. They're fried. It's only a matter of time. If they don't, if they don't, you know, I just heard go on a hunt. Okay, well, they're hunting now. If they don't go on a hunt for new ass and new whatever, uh, this person is done. They don't have no energy. Tired. Four of swords and the four and the five, ten, what was it? Four of swords, five of wands, and the uh, two of swords. What? And the ten of swords? But the 11 of wands to the two of cups, like way down, can't find nobody, nowhere. Okay, yeah, that's not good. So anyway, as we just close out this reading, i just like to say thanks for surviving spiritual court. Here's a heart. Is that the way the heart goes? Love you, love you, love you. I love y'all so much. I really, really do. I thank you for being here. Thank you for your love donations. Thank you for donating love and light. I will absolutely see you in the next video. Until then, peace be with you.